Bale ka poveli sezo kuwa ndokoro za utatu. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. There was light. Nurukwangali. Pomo karunga kwa sitire guru nevu. Evu kwari kwari rumba rumbire. Aliohena maoko kulia keremu. Ano mdema makura tagu kudumike etondolio mema Pepo za karunganga zuteremba nye, nye kontunda zo mema Makura karunga tatanda si uzera ukarepo Makura uzera ta ukarapo Ano karunga ega mona asi uzera unaziremo Makura tahangura nye uzera kumdema Praise God Shall we clap hands for Jesus Christ let us take another scripture reading in the first book of Samuel, chapter 17. I want us to look at um, Samuel, chapter 17. We want to read from verse number 38 to 40. Six. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put a helmet of brass upon his head, and also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David guarded his sword upon his armor, and assayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with this, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him, and he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them into the shepherd's bag, which he had, even in the script. And his linger was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. And the men that bare the shelter went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was about a youth, ready and fair countenance. And Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with the stoves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the field. Then David, then say David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with the spears, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of the host. The God of the army of Israel, whom thou have defiled, this day will I, this day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee, and I will give thy carcass of the host of the Philistine this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the well beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is God in Israel. From verse number. 38, quickly down, um, 30, 36, 38 to 30, 46, quickly, if. Makura, makura ta gawa ikoerero ya mwene kwa ndafita, adware ei, embare ero siwera songoporo, noskoerero sonongande, dongoporo. Ndafita makura ta limanga, limanga rufuro rwendi, kontunda azo ikoerero oyo. Ano eiga heteka asi agende no kuwa pasi moro akapiga gai heteka rumwe makura ndafita tatandere sauru asi no kuwa pasi kurwanayo moro akapina iheteka rumwe ndafita makura tai hutura 
gani kama kura hata damna mpango zendi ezi ngali sisa nonzwi tazi imo kamkuro tapapara motu manya tutano takuli tokuli hudinga makura ta makura tatu tatu tora monja to zendi ezi gasi mbile ezo kupungwira tumanya tosi 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 zugu miso sendi. Age kuna kwa terele si zugu miso sendi. Makura ata hedere mfilisteri. Mfilisteri nage kuna kuwiza ahede kwa ndafita. Ano ogu asimbi silikandu iso sendi. Age kuna piti komeho. Ano ogu asimbi silikandu iso sendi. Age kuna piti komeho. Tupuga zumba mfilisteri meho amo nendafita tam sense morwa simbe mati tupu gomgeha gosi hanga sosi wa mfilisteri makura tapura ndafita asi owe koge asi owe koge asi nisimbame no wizirange no yu uro ndi mfilisteri makura tatuku ndafita tagana kwa wakarunga wendi mfilistiri takwa kwa mesa koku tandera ndafita asi wizao kungumwe ni agawe ozo nyama zoge kwa idira yeke guru no kwa ikora mairie nye ndafita ata tandere mfilistiri asi wawe kuna wiza kwange no rufuro no mkowe no silikandu iso nye ameta ni wiza koge medina alia omba gono mbunga doa kwa ita karunga goa kwa ita wa israeli Ogu ono kuswa ura. Na naina eri homba tagugawa moku oko kwange. Ni kutipake mtuwe goge ni kuteteko. Ano impuyo wakwa ita. Ano impuyo wakwa ita omo filistri naina. Ano impuyo wakwa ita wawa filistri naina idira yeke guru. No ikora maepevu na ilia. Tani udiwa uzuni na unye asim. Israeli kwa karunga kwa kara kwa karunga mbunga na zinye ezo nene zidiwe asi homba kapi aparwiso ako rufurondi komkowe ye yomba mfundi moita age ige na mgawa one moma oko getu hallelujah amen hallelujah amen father bless this word father reveal yourself in this place Thank you for your kindness and for your mercy. We trust you, Lord of glory, that miracles shall be performed in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, those that are sick shall be healed. Those that are living in sin shall be set free. Those that are in sin, they will be delivered. And I thank you, Lord of glory, that your spirit will move and lead us in this place. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we depend for the reading of the word in Urkwangali? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I want to touch on the topic. Speak your miracle. In existence. Speak your miracle. In existence. Listen to me. Speak your miracle into being. The Bible says when God created everything, things were good. Yes. He created the heavens and the earth. He created the heavens and the earth. And the Bible says, the earth was without form. Void. Chaotic. The enemy will always try to attack. Try to bring confusion on the thing that God have made. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In this story, we can see that darkness is not of God. Darkness is not associated with Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
The Bible says then, when God created heavens and the earth, the earth was not okay. Darkness was all over. And because of darkness, things was not in order. But the spirit of the living God was moving around. It's moving around. Today, I do not know in what situation you find yourself into today. The devil is represented by darkness. Jesus Christ is represented by the light. Jesus is the light of the world. He is the light. In him there is no darkness. Every time the enemy will bring problem, every time the enemy will bring attack in your life, the spirit of the living God is always near you. The spirit of the living God is upon you. The spirit of the living God is with you. The the spirit of the living God is in you. Listen to me as I'm laying the foundation. The Bible says when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was in a shambo or confusion. The enemy had brought confusion on the earth. Things were not okay. And God was not happy looking at the earth to be void. Looking at the situation that was abnormal. I do not know what thing have come in your life that have become abnormal. That have become frustration in your life. That have disappointed you. God looked at it and said it will not be like this. No. It will not go on like this. Hallelujah. Amen. But the spirit was moving. The spirit was moving. You might have problem today in your life. You might have affliction in your life. You might have problem in depression in your life. You might have setback in your life. As long as you cannot speak, the problem will remain. The problem will persist. The problem will go on. As long as God have not spoken, the problem of darkness was there. The spirit of the Lord was there. But it was a chaotic situation. The earth was without void. It is voidless. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God has not spoken. You may find yourself in a problem today. The problem will remain until you speak. Therefore, I want you to create your miracle by speaking in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us go to Genesis chapter number one. We want to read that verse number two. And verse number three. Can you read it for us in Urkwangali? Genesis chapter number one, verse two and three. Only those two. Evu kwari rumbarumbire, ariohena maoko kodi akere. Anom dema makurata gukudumi ke etondolo mema, pepo zakarunga ngas teremba nye kontunda zomema. Verse three. Makura karunga tatandasi uzera ukarepo makura uzera ta ukarapo the earth was without form asi evu kwali rumba rumbire void and darkness was all over pakere kom ndema na kunye some of you vamwe veni you find yourself in the situation that you do not know whether you will reach at the end of the year some of you, your marriage is at the rocky stones at this point in time. Some of you, you are having fear of your own employment. 
That is the challenges that you are facing now. Some of you, you are in the dark hours of your life. And you do not know what will be next. Hallelujah. Amen. But I want to assure you, the spirit of the living God is in this place. God knows you and he knows you by your name in the name of Jesus Christ. God did not allow the darkness to go on. God reached the level where a decision needs to be taken. Darkness needs to be separated. Void and formless must come to an end. And God spoke. As long as you are having problem and you are quiet, as long as you are having problem and you are complaining, as long as you are having problem in your life, in your business, in your career, and you are complaining, nothing will happen until you begin to speak in the direction that you want to go, then the thing will begin to work in your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God saying, I don't want darkness. I want light. God did not only think about light, but God spoke about light. Let there be light. What happened? What happened? Light came into being. In your mouth, as a believer, as a child of the living God, you have the power, creative power, to create your future that you desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Any pain that have come on your body in a form of sickness, in a form of disease, in a form of a disease. You have the power to command it in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Do you believe that? Who believe that? Is your body the temple of the Holy Spirit? Do you believe that? Any pain that have come in your body, you have the power to create the health, to create the healing that you desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! God saw darkness. He did not want darkness. God saw disorder. He did not want disorder. He wanted order. So God spoke. Let there be light. And light was there. Anything that is challenging your living God, any pain that is following you, any embarrassment that is following you, you have the power to terminate it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! You have the power to create your miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, you may not have employment. Today, you may not have sugar in your home. Today, you may not have electricity in your home. Today, your body may be sick. Today, you may have pain in your body. But I want to tell you, you have the power in your mouth. You have the power as you speak in the name of Jesus Christ. We believe with our heart. But it is not enough. What we believe, we must speak it out. What we ponder around, that what we what we believe in our heart, what we meditate upon, we need to speak it out. And things will come into being. Look at all the miracles in the Bible. Beginning, let me give you an example of Abraham. Naturally speaking, God made Abraham when he was 75 years old. And he told him, you are going to have many children on your wife uh, your wife Sarah. He was very much excited. A year passed by. Second year. Fifth year. Tenth year. Fifteenth year. Twenty years passed by. Twenty-four years. The Lord appeared. God cannot lie. Are you with me? Amen. God can do what? 
God can do what? He can, can you open for me Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11? Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. Isaiah, you need to create your miracle by speaking it. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Isaiah 55 verses 11. Nongkango dange edi adi tundu mokana kange imonga dikara kapinga di tengwira kwange mawoko woko nyenga di rugana eina di harere adonga di ragopa na kunye oku ngani di tuma So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it Isaiah chapter number 40, verse 8. Isaiah chapter number 40, verse 8. Isaiah chapter number 40, verse 8. Wai kukukuta mba kurembuka nyenonkango dakarunga gwetu ngadikara dogoro na runye. I want you to repeat again. Nombia. Wai kukukuta mba kurembuka. Should be nombia. So the spelling is wrong then. Okay. Okay. Wai kukukuta nombia kurembuka nye nongkango dakarunga gwetu ngadikara dogoro na runye. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God will never change. So shall it be the word that come out of the mouth of God. It will not return unto God empty handed. It will fulfill what God has said. Look into the life of uh, Abraham. Abraham. Abraham believed God. The God who promised cannot lie. At the age of 100 years, the promise of God was fulfilled. Abraham have never seen an old man giving birth at his age. Any miracle cannot be explained. You cannot explain a miracle. You cannot uh, describe how a miracle has been performed. Let me give you another example. Example of Moses. At the Red Sea. They are coming from Egypt. Here is the Red Sea. The Egyptians they are marching. Fear grip them. Because on their sides are mountains. They have entered the mountains. They are now at the edge of the river at the sea. Behind are the army. What is only there for them is death. And they begin to pray. They begin to pray. And some begin to panic. And begin to cry. Hallelujah. Amen. And Moses prayed. God said. Tell the people to go forward. Forward where? Where the water? Hello. Amen. They were on their way. The army is behind pursuing them to kill them or to arrest them. But God said, tell them to go. Hallelujah. Amen. To go where? To face the Red Sea. To go in the Red Sea. Wow. I don't know what is your pain. I don't know what is intimidating you. Today, that Goliath, today, that Red Sea, today, that problem, today, that calamity must come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Moses have never had a person crossing the Red Sea in the number of two million people. And the army 
is behind them. The Bible says as they marched forward, as they believed and they acted by faith, to go forward, as they stepped into the water, and as he stretched out his uh, road to the water, the water parted in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what you are facing now. The hand of the living God is upon you. If you can only believe, you will see the salvation of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Every time, God will require our faith our confidence in him our trust in him trust of the word of the living God therefore God will never fail us I say the Lord God will not fail you in this year 2021 in the name of Jesus Christ he will perform a miracle as you speak your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah a miracle that has happened people believed God and they acted as God had commanded them and a miracle happened today a miracle of healing is coming upon you a miracle of breakthrough is coming upon you a miracle of favor is coming upon you a miracle of salvation is coming upon you a miracle of freedom is coming upon you receive it receive it Receive it! Receive it! Hallelujah! Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For an example, so, Nena, Joshua, Joshua was fighting with the children of the land that they, they, they inherited. As they were fighting, Things was becoming tough, 50-50. And they were losing. The other side were losing. Joshua opened up his mouth. And he prayed a prayer. That is recorded in the Bible. He prayed for the sun to stand still. If it will go down, they will lose the battle. Therefore, Joshua prayed. That the sun stand still. That the moon may stand still. The sun and the moon obeyed what Joshua prayed for. You can also create a miracle through your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. We have the power. But the power is in your heart release through your mouth and it will come to pass Joshua prayed the sun stands still the, the moon stands still and they have the opportunity to defeat their enemy in the name of Jesus Christ as you open up your mouth and you speak the word of faith you will become a victor you will be the overcomer in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every battle that the enemy is throwing to you you have the power because Christ the hope of glory is in you in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah! You have the power. Creative power. To create the future that you desire. To create the result that you want. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sickness is a stranger in your body. Because where you find the spirit of the living God, sickness cannot be there in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere where you are and you are feeling pain in your body, I guess that pain in the name of Jesus Christ. I guess that sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! 
body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And you have the power to create your miracle by speaking it out. Praise the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Here is David. David. He went to visit the army. And he took some food for his brothers. When he reached there, he had a man with the name of Goliath shouting and insulting the children of Israel. So if there is any person brave enough let him come and fight me if I defeat that person he will become our subject if I will be defeated then we the Philistines will become your subject every person in the camp of Israel was fearful and a 17 years old young boy listen unto the voice of uh, Goliath and I said what shall be done unto the men who is defiling the children, the army of the Lord, if he will be killed? I think a young boy who have come to visit. I said, I'm going to face him. And he gave his testimony. I have killed a lion. When the lion came against the ship. I have killed the bear when they came to attack the sheep what the Lord have done through me to the sheep and the bears the same my God will do unto this man what shall be done to the men who will, be, who will kill this man a promise was given unto David and David said I'm going to face him David defeated the devil the Goliath not when he went running toward that man not when he was running to him but he killed him when he believed in the God of the impossible who can make the impossible possible and David began to speak if you come to me with the sword and a javelin a spear I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord God whom you have defiled. That is the moment when David defeated Goliath. When you have the word of God in your heart you believe it you speak it that is the end. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Faith is acting on what? Faith is acting on what? Faith is acting on? I can't we hear you? I can't hear you. Can you do it a little bit better? Speak what? Faith is acting on? The word of God. David acted on what he believed. And because he acted on what he believed, he faced Goliath. And he brought Goliath down. Today, if you can only believe God, the God who have healed you, God who have performed a miracle in your life, God who have blessed you, God who have protected you, the same God, count your blessing one by one. And you will see what the Lord shall do in your life, in your career, in your body, in your marriage, in your finances, in the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hand unto Jesus Christ. As a clap offering. I say we can do it better. Can we clap hand for Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. You can create your miracle by speaking it you have the power praise the name of Jesus Christ praise the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah
The situation may be unfavorable with you. But you do not want unfavorable situation. You want favorable situation in your business, in your career, in your home. Begin to speak it in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is yea and amen. The word of God cannot change. The word of God cannot fail. The word of God stands forever. Lean on the word of God. Trust the word of God. And you will come out as a victor in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today, I want you to get angry against the affliction that is in your life. Behind that affliction, there is demon that is afflicting you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness that is giving you pain behind that sickness, demon is behind it. You have the power to rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. They've given you the power and the authority that whatever you permit in your home, in your life, in your business, in your finances, in your career, in your health, that will be. God wants you to invite him. Whatever you permit, God will give you the permission of heaven also to support you. Whatever you bind here on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Like for an example, God have given us this earth. It's where we can exercise our dominion. God will not come and intervene without us calling upon him. When we call upon him, he comes. And then he comes to help us. He is God. But earth, he has created it and he has given it unto us. And all the power has been given into our hands. Just like those that are married. Maybe it will be good also for those that are not married to listen to this. More especially young women. When a young woman is not married, it is under the control of the father. He's under the leadership of the father. He carries the same name of the father. He needs to listen to the instruction of the father that is given unto her. Are you with me? Amen. But the moment the young woman gets married, the authority of the father ends there. He takes another surname. Hallelujah. And the young woman goes into the leadership of her own husband. She needs to listen to her own husband. She needs to be protected by her own husband. She needs to be defended by her own husband. She needs to be provided her needs provision by her own husband. Even if the father wants to come and visit at their new home, the father need to ask permission. You just not only come like that. Because it's my daughter, she's married. Then. No. Your daughter is now in the hand of another leadership. It's under the protection of another person. It's carrying another person's surname. Therefore, for you to come and visit as a father, you need to ask permission, can we come and visit you? Can I come and visit you on this day? And uh, your daughter may tell you, my husband will not be around 
and we may be traveling somewhere maybe another time exactly with God heaven he created for himself earth he has given it to us you have the power to direct whatever you want here on earth in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ David he looked at Goliath and he said you are insulting the God the living God and the army of the living God today I'm going to cut off your head your body will I give unto the beds of the air I'm going to kill you that is the moment when David conquered Goliath your faith in your heart released through your mouth will bring always a miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we stand on our two feet now? I want you to stand on your two feet. You're going to stand on your two feet. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready for prayer? Who is ready? Hands down. Who is ready? Okay, I will not lift up my hand because I will lift up before I will ask you. Who is ready to pray? Are you ready to take your miracle? Are you ready? Are you happy with your present situation? No. Are you enjoying the pain? Are you enjoying embarrassment? Are you enjoying everything that the devil is throwing to you? God was not happy when darkness was all over God created light by speaking it out David created his victory by speaking it out I said also Joshua This is not of God. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to rebuke it. You don't want blindness. 
Blindness is not your portion. Rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You want to begin your business. The business cannot last for two months. It cannot go for six months. Rebuke that spirit. Rebuke that spirit. Rebuke that spirit. You want to become productivity. You want to become fruitful. But you cannot see it. Begin. Can you help that woman please? Catch Asha's place. Go ahead and pray. The spirit of the living God is in this place. The spirit of the living God is in this place. Clap your hand and pray. Clap your hand and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Rebuke that spirit. Break that spirit. Break that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every darkness that have come in your life darkness of barrenness darkness of financial mess darkness of you are not having peace every darkness includes sickness begin to pray and rebuke it and break it in the name of Jesus Christ break that darkness Break the darkness. Break the darkness. Break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Break the darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Break the darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Every darkness. Every darkness. Every darkness every darkness that the enemy brought in your life I break it I break it I break it I break it open up your mouth and pray break every darkness in your life in your system in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Listen to me. Just like David. When David, David had Goliath. But God believed in a greater God than Goliath. And he had a faith in a bigger God than Goliath. You are having a great God by your side. You are having a big God in you. Who is with you. Who is upon you. Every Goliath. That came to threaten your life. To threaten your peace. To threaten your health. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. As you clap your hand, break every Goliath. Financial Goliath. Financial Goliath, break it. Goliath of who have stolen your peace, break him. Goliath of sickness, break him. Break, break that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Break that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Kill that Goliath. Kill that Goliath. Kill that Goliath. By the Spirit of the Living God. By the power of the Spirit of the Living God. Break every power of Goliath that has presented itself against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Break that spirit in the name of Jesus. Break that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Andere baba 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 baba, andere baba 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 baba, reke papa papa papa, 
andara baba baba endere baba papa papa andara baba 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 re papa 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 andara baba 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 re papa 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 break that spirit break that spirit eta kure el pago pepo in the name of jesus christ medina de san cristo in the name of jesus christ medina de san cristo hallelujah amen hallelujah amen listen to me para que nene every demonic power of sickness que ye no conta do non dem de to wera your body to be weak o da kunin sarturo ger pira no conta do que pe care mo wera Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter number 10 verse 1. He called the 12 unto himself. And he gave them power. against unclean spirits. To cast them out and to heal all manners of diseases. Lift up your right hand. And say in the name of Jesus. Every sickness. Beat neck problem eye problem ear problem heart problem any sickness i break you and i command you out out of my body in the name of jesus begin now to command it out of your body pray pray against every sickness break that sickness and command it out in the name of jesus christ Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray every sickness to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness. Sight problem. Neck problem. Package. Heart problem. Diabetes. Another person is here please can you catch here? Can you catch? Pray 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 pray. There is fire in the house. There is power in the house. Pray. Rebuke that pain. Rebuke that sickness. Come on it go. Come on it go. Pray. 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 Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. 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 Pray, 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 pray. Ni pa 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 Andara baba 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 rema baba baba endere baba 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 pray 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 andere ni in jesus name we pray amen lift up your right hand there any work on your rudio in the name of jesus christ the dinner of jesus christ i take authority against your spirit of sickness con pepas o mauvera you spirit of sickness o pepas o mauvera i command you kwaku kupangera loose your grip kutundamo leave me kutundamo in the name of jesus the dinner of jesus christ my body rutur wange is the temple of the holy spirit anywhere you are any kwana kara you sickness Anywhere you are whatever your name may be I command you come out out out, out. command that sickness you know it. command it can you catch that one please catch that one the, the spirit of the living god is in this place pray pray command it out command it out command that sickness out go ahead and pray Pray and pray. Every demonic power of sickness. Yes, help that one please. Help that one please. Help that sick. May she for me to hear we will clean. Can you catch that woman please? Let her for me there. Let her for me there we will help her. I will see the power of water. Go ahead and pray. Every demonic power of sickness. Command 
your right hand. We are going to be aggressive against the spirit of coronavirus. We know that this virus is not from God. We need to rebuke that virus from our community, from our nation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I take my believer's authority against coronavirus. You coronavirus, hear the voice of God. Die, 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 die. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Go ahead and pray. That coronavirus, that spirit, that virus must die in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen to me. It is not good for you to begin a business and the business can go nowhere. Within uh, three months to six months, it is closed. Any project that you begin, you cannot go far. Then limitation comes in. Any project that you want to undertake, at the beginning you are having the zeal to push. But then within three to six months, the thing is stand still. We are going to cast out that spirit of stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your right hand and say, In the name of Jesus, I take my belief. Believe us authority against the spirit of stagnation in my life, in my business, in my marriage, in my finances, in my career. You spirit of stagnation, I command you. Come on! Ah! 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 Minute as you pray, minute as you begin to pray now, pray and command it out. Minute and command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray and pray and pray. Go ahead and pray. Break that spirit, that curse, in the name of Jesus Christ. Break that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Go 
it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Listen to me. You have come with pain to the house of God. You have come with the expectation in the house of God. Now is a time. For you to pray for your miracle. Now is your time. For you to pray for the answer that you desire. Now is a time. For you to ask God. The thing that you want to see. In your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your two hands. Begin to pray now for your miracle. Begin now to pray for your answer. Begin to pray for your solution. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray. Pray for your miracle. Pray for your miracle. Pray for your answer. Pray for your answer. Pray for your answer. Pray for your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lift up your hand and begin to pray for your breakthrough. Pray for your breakthrough. Pray for your freedom. Pray for your joy. Comfort of your heart. Please pray. Pray for yourself. Pray now. Pray for those miracles. Pray for those miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I say in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to take a moment to pray for sickness. To God. Anywhere you are feeling pain. Lean your hand on there. If you cannot reach, place your hand on your head. And you are going to pray this prayer after me. If you cannot reach there, just place your hand on your heart, your head. Pray this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I can hear Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, I stand against sickness. Headache, I command you. Go! Neck problem, I command you. Go! Eyes problem, I command you. Go! Sight problem, take your grip. Loose in the name of Jesus. Package. I command you. Cut. Out. Out. Leg problem. I command you. Go. 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 Heart problem. Higher blood pressure. Sugar diabetes. I command you. Go. 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 My body, my body is the temple, is the temple of, the of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, Therefore you, sickness, you sickness, you disease, you disease I command you, lose, 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 and go, and go, and go, in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus you sickness you, sickness, you don't have any power any over my body, over my body because my body, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit the of the Holy in, the Jesus, in the name of Jesus I set myself free I set myself free I am free I am healed I am delivered I am delivered in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit in Jesus mighty name Amen. clap your hands and give Jesus a clap offering I say clap your hand and give him a clap offering in Jesus mighty name Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Time have come. That we must trust God. And call the thing. That is not there. As though they were there. I want you to begin to exercise. If you are having pain in your body. Begin to move that body. Begin to move that body. If you are having it pain in the arm, begin to move that arm. Begin to move it. Faith acts now. If it is in the leg, remove those legs. If you could not bend, you can bend now. You can bend now. It is how you can act in faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. May we take our seats. May we take our seats. I'm coming down for prayer. Hallelujah. Amen.